what is up what is up everyone welcome to another tutorial and in this video I want to talk to you about lambda L A M B D A that's how you spell it but what is it now I'm guessing that if you programmed Python for any sufficient amount of time you probably saw these little lambda expressions laying around your program and you may have even been able to figure out um, what they are they kinda act as a function but first of all how exactly do you create them and when would you use them well first let's go ahead and actually make a really simple example using lambda so what lambda is is it's basically a, a small function that has no name so you know here let me just this is just an example when I'm typing whenever you make a function you define it and you call it like tuna or something well these small functions these lambda functions they don't have any name and that's because they're just one-time use small functions only so how do you create one type the word lambda and then after you know how you would pass stuff in between those parentheses right here like you would pass in a variable called x after the word lambda that's where you put your variable name or your input so I'm just gonna pass in some simple variable called x and we'll just uh, perform a simple calculation to it. So we'll say that in this small lambda function, we're just going to pass in a number and then we're going to multiply it by seven. So this is a syntax for it right here your input, colon, and then the expression of what do you want it to do. So again, this is a small, simple function that only takes one parameter. So let's go ahead and um, use it right now now by default we didn't print anything out we just calculated it so we need to throw inside a print uh, function and of course this is called answer so answer and what number are we going to pass in we'll just say we'll pass in five for right now so whenever you run this check it out it prints out 35 now obviously what we did is we created a small lambda function and take note it's a small quick and nameless function so even though we said equal to a variable right here the function itself doesn't actually have a name so that's important to take away so now that we understand exactly what it is and how we can use them when would we ever use these things well we could in this case scenario just go ahead and make a normal function called like um, multiply something by seven but sometimes whenever you're using like other libraries like Kinter uses this a lot, or TK Inter, I know that's how you pronounce it, but you're going to come across code like this. Whenever you make a button, if you didn't watch my uh, Kinter tutorials, this is the basic syntax of how you create it. Now, of course, you would need to import the Kinter library, but this is just an example. You would set the text of the button, something equal to like, click me, and then you would obviously want this button to do something, to perform some action. So the built-in attribute for that is command, and you set this equal to a name of a function however there are going to be times where you just want custom button functionality something to just occur specific for this button so you don't want to build a function because functions are really built whenever you need to use um, a bit of code over and over and over again so instead what you're going to see is something like this you're going to see lambda and then of course you type you know your custom button functionality right here but what this achieves is you're able to set functionality for this button without having to build a separate function that you're only going to use once. So you can, again, this attribute right here requires being set to a function. So that is why whenever you need to pass in a function, you can just use lambda and you'll be good to go. So again, if this is kind of confusing, then watch my kids tutorials and uh, I'll explain in like a practical real world example how you use this but that is one case scenario of what lambda is when you would use it boom roasted thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys in the next video